G'day everybody, I'm Senior Station Officer Nash at uh, Springvale Fire Brigade. At approximately 5.30 tonight we received a call to a fire in the backyard in Airlane Court, Springvale. I'm proceeding to the fire um, who had further update information from Vic Fire to say that it now looked like it was a house fire. At the same time we could see black smoke starting to roll up from the, that area that we were responding to. On arrival, um, one house was totally involved at the rear, going from, going from end to end and was pinging on the house to the side of it. We also had another house on the other side that was um, getting close to being involved in the fire. As we made our way down the side of the house, uh, an LPG cylinder started to vent and put a candle up through the shed, uh, which caused us some concern because we were unable to get water on to that LPG cylinder, which was making it, the fire fight a little bit uh, precarious for the um, persons on the line. Initially, when I seen the smoke coming up, I increased it to uh, make pumpers two, um, we also had Danny Nong tanker on the way and Keysborough pumper tanker. Um, on arrival, we um, went to work with BA sets on it and quickly realised that we were going to need um, refilling of our cylinders and Frankston BA van was dispatched. After about 15-20 uh, minutes, um, the, the, uh, still hadn't um, made any real impact on the original house fire. We were able to, at that stage, uh, the exposures to the houses either side were safe and the firefighters done a marvellous job in knocking the fire down but the temperature of the day is quite warm and in the heat of the our gear was starting to tell on so I called for the Danny Nong hydration unit. When we first arrived we understood that there was nobody inside. As quickly as we could we had the front door open and we, we made an attack through the, through the house down the passageway to the front of the house which was the kitchen area. Shortly after that the lady arrived home and advised us that um, a gentleman that uh, lived with her uh, was not accountable uh, and we couldn't find him on the fire ground. Once, as soon as that information was received, we put um, two crews in through the back door to do a search and rescue um, to try and find the gentleman. About five minutes into the search, the gentleman turned up at the front of the house, um, so the search was called off. After we knocked down the house and um, we had a fire under control, there will be a large amount of blacking out because the backyard is full of um, old corrugated iron and old bits and pieces of fridges and that, so the boys will be here for quite some time tonight overhauling and blacking out. After the knockdown of the fire, we managed to put a stop on the call approximately about an hour and a quarter into the firefight.